Folks, it's all about saws today on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel Tool Tuesday. Woo! Yeah! Stony Ridge Farm. Woo! <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> all right. Guys, welcome back to the farm. It's Tool Tuesday on the Stony Ridge Farm and it's like 12 degrees outside. It's super cold. Today we're gonna be having some fun. We're gonna show you some really cool Milwaukee gear. Got an awesome heater over here running. So let's get busy with Tool Tuesday for this awesome week. What are you doing, boy? Come here. It feels good in here, don't it? It feels so good. It's the happiest dog. <laughs> Guys, this is the Sunfire heater is what we're heating the shop with right now until we can get our wood stoves put in. That critter is awesome. I'll post a link to that video at the end of this one. This will heat this huge space. It's 5,600 square feet of floor space with a 24 foot ceiling. If I had ceiling fans, we'd be in here in our swimsuit. That thing is awesome. But today's video is all about Milwaukee Tool. So we've got some really cool stuff from Milwaukee Tool. I want to take you guys through it, show you what it's all about, open it up, and put it all together. So in case you guys don't know, I am a Milwaukee fanboy. I love my Milwaukee gear. This is the Milwaukee M12 heated jacket. Really, really cool. I'll post a link to it in the video description, as well as a link to all the goodies that we're using today, even the heater that I just showed you. So again, that's the Milwaukee M12 heated jacket. It's a little bit heavy. But man, being heavy or being cold, it's your choice. This thing in 11 and 12 degree temperatures makes you feel snug as a bug in a rug. So what we've got here, we're gonna walk around and I'll show you the tools we've got and we've got the stands that match these tools. This video is brought to you in part by our friends from Milwaukee Tool. So here's what we've got. This is the M18 Fuel Awesome Dual Bevel Sliding Compound Miter Saw. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be finishing out this area right here, guys. So we need tools to finish out the area. Uh, this is gonna be an upstairs apartment area, and this is gonna be a downstairs kind of hangout farm office. This is the M18 Fuel Driven to Outperform Table Saw. So again, this is comparable to a 15 amp corded power tool, and this one is also comparable to a 15 amp corded. It's the 12 inch model, okay? So that's what we've got. We're gonna open these guys up. What we also have is the individual stand for each one. So this is the folding table saw stand, and this is the folding miter saw stand. So you're gonna get to see the whole kit and caboodle here. And my brain tells me open the stand before you open the saw. That way you got somewhere to put the stinking saw once you get it open. So chuck all this off to the side here. We'll get everything all set out. That's pretty cool. Must be the clip that retains the saw. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't get much more simple than that. Pretty impressed with the ease of assembly. Wow, that's it. Those just lock in place. So pretty simple. One, two, three, four legs. These are stationary, okay? The ends are stationary on these. And that one's also stationary. But one of them adjusts, which is cool. So if you got a three-legged table, in case you guys don't know, when you got a three-legged table, three-legged table will always stabilize itself. A four-legged table will always wobble on uh, uneven ground. So you've got an adjuster right here to keep it from flopping around and wobbling like that. It has a carrying handle right here that fits in this little slide, and there is this little lever. So if you wanna fold them down, depress the lever. Now, the question is, is there a specific order? Because that's always a pain in the butt when you've got a specific order you have to fold things down. So let's try it in a different order. Let's try, come on buddy. Oh, it locks in the down position too, okay? Let's try this one first. Good, good, amen, thank you. Having a specific order to put these things together and take them apart is no fun, especially when you're out there, if you're on the job site and you got your helpers out there, you don't want them breaking stuff, right? Seems pretty stiff, pretty sturdy, high quality aluminum construction right here. Oh, fancy pants, I see. Oh, daddy, liking that. Oh, fancy schmancy. So these little critters right here evidently match up to this rail, just like so. Okay, super simple. So for taking your saw off and putting everything in the truck, all you'd have to do, so you squeeze that, and that slides down. 
Uh, there are two mounts, these two mounts, that guy and that guy, and they slide a little bit, so they're adjustable. I guess if you didn't want to use a Milwaukee saw, this would just be an awesome uh, stand for any saw. Okay, so we set this guy on and we squeeze that handle right there. So we drop in, squeeze the handle, and bam, they slide up and down and they're adjustable. So we're gonna slide these kind of close to the middle. What I did discover is there is a little knob right here and that little knob helps us to mount this slide. This slide right here takes this guy just like so. Okay, so you can mount your board. There's one on this side also, same thing, slides out and we can mount this critter on here and that's to help your board uh, get stabilized for cutting. And there's a little adjuster right there. We're not gonna be cutting anything today. We're just gonna assemble everything and show you guys how it all works. So let's go ahead and put our little nuts and bolts together. Then we'll open the saw and mount it up. There's a little hole right here. What we gotta do, slide this tiny little bolt through that hole, just like so. And then we simply slide it all into place right there put our little knob and our washer in place. Sometimes you gotta scratch your head. Now you don't have to scratch your head. If you buy one of these, just check out this video. Bam, good to go. Locked down, locked in place. We'll do the other side and then we'll go ahead and open up the saw. <laughs> All right, we're good to go. We're gonna set this guy back and get the saw. Open it up. That is a big box. <laughs> That's awesome. I've got bags stuck on my feet. <laughs> Here we go, again, not the king of unboxings, but I think this is gonna be super simple. Here is our 12 inch saw blade, catch bag for catching our debris. I ordered the kit with batteries because you can never have too many batteries. This is the big boy, the M18 HD 12.0. The big boy right there, high output HD 12.0. That's a pricey little battery, we wanna take good care of that critter. Here's some uh, hardware, your battery charger, M12 charger right here, charger pack. Is this the rapid charge? Yes, bam, rapid charge, love that. Got a couple handles down here. Oh, out the box. I think that's it. Set that guy over there. The silica gel packs, you know what I do with those? I put them in the bottom of my safe for my things that go bang bang, the other tools that I like. I put those in the bottom of my safe. They're decadence, they help absorb moisture, and they keep my safe nice and dry inside, which is important to keep things that go bang bang from rusting. So I lost a little baggie of screws in my infinite tool tossing adventure, <laughs> but we've got two handles. One goes on each side, and that's it. It's just a really awesome, looks like anodized aluminum, and they simply go in place right there so you can pick the saw up easily and carry it, and this takes a Torx head. Okay, so I'm gonna drop that in. All right, good to go. Repeat that process on the other side. There it is. All right, <laughs> Torx check. Now we've got a couple little critters that need to go on here. This is what one of the critters is. And it's basically something to stabilize whatever material it is that you're working with. So the next thing that we've got to do, cut this gigantic zip tie. However, save your zip ties. I'm gonna cut it way up here. Bam, got me two free big old zip ties, man. I'll be holding down fire hoses, all kinds of stuff with that. Set them over here. We're gonna rotate around. Simply a little pull handle right here. We're gonna rotate this critter over like that. And then this stabilizer only fits one way. So you can only put it in one way. We've gotta put it in basically reversed. Drop it all the way down in there. I like that it's consistent. Let's just talk about consistency real quick. Consistently sized handles that you can get a hold of with a pair of gloves on, consistently sized handles. Everything is consistent with this. I really like that. So you don't have 50 different types of little knobs. So I, I do like that. There are two different types, but not 50. So let's go in here. You can adjust this critter right here, up and down to hold your work in place. And we're gonna go ahead and snug that all the way down, just like so, so it's not flopping around. Now you don't have to worry about that falling out when you pick up your miter saw and put it in the back of your truck. If you're carrying this to a job site or something like that. We're mainly gonna be using it here, but we've got other construction projects on the farm. So we're gonna rotate the other side and stick the other one in there 
and that'd be pretty much it. This is a stabilizer bar that goes in the back of the saw. There are two little holes right here, and this just slides in, and then there's a set screw. So we'll go ahead and install that. And I was actually misspoken. There's only one of these stabilizers for stabilizing your material. So if you want another one, I think you could probably order it but I think one would be enough. Basically, one piece is gonna go in the trash and the other piece is what you're gonna use. So let's go ahead and we'll install this critter. Super simple, you don't need to see that. Last but not least, we gotta put our blade in place and we also have to put this little critter right here on. We'll slide that on there. We wanna make sure we don't have our battery in this thing while the blade is being installed, okay? This is the battery and here's where it drops in. Right there, very, very cool. So let's drop our blade in and we'll be ready to go. We'll set this guy on its stand. Let's just set it on the stand before we get our blade in. We'll slide this guy in, it locks in place. Grab our handles, just like so. It's pretty lightweight, guys. I'm very surprised at how lightweight it is. This is evidently a universal stand for the M18 12 inch and the other sizes that they have. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll basically take our hex screw and our Locking washer, so lock washer here, standard washer here, and I'm obsessive, I have to have the washer just the right way, and then we'll get it started right down in here. Snug it down finger tight on both sides, and we'll go over here to the other side. Right there, get it right under where it needs to be, and set it down. We wanna make sure that we're square as we possibly can be. That's why we only put it on loose to start with. Now I can understand how this works, to hold your material. So you can let this up and down. You can get it down, get it out of the way, lay your material right here, or you can secure your material up here. So if you've got like 50 cuts that are all gonna be the same length, then you've got this critter right here to use. You can also flip that up and adjust it just like so. So pretty cool, infinite adjustments. I really like that. And the saw basically locks itself down uh, with these same little knobs so you can't slide it. Right now it's locked down and if we want to unlock it, the miter slide and we can do that. Oftentimes we'll just need it just like that. Very cool. Go ahead and then I'll stall the blade and I'll fire it up and let you see what it sounds like. It's got the oomph. Now we're gonna go ahead and we'll tighten everything down once we get it all totally centered on our mounting brackets. And what I did was just slide it all the way forward. This is a 60 tooth 12 inch blade. That's what it comes with. And it shows the direction is that way. So your teeth need to dig and kick backwards. They wouldn't be digging and kicking towards you. So we have to loosen a little set nut. There's a button over here that we hit to lock this thing down. That's right there. So we'll hit that, hold it in place. This is a reverse threaded bolt. Okay, pop that dude out. Little tab, up we go. Man, what a reach on that. You could cut a daggone <laughs> spruce log with that thing. Slide that critter into place. It's indexed in here so it fits on snugly. Again, reverse threaded. Hit our lock button on the other side. All right. Blade nice and snug, rotate around. Very cool. Now we'll slap the battery in and let you listen to it. Up inside here is a light. Be careful, bam. So that helps to light your work up, okay? And now we'll squeeze the trigger with our guard down. Nice. Up and down, miter saw, you have the slide. So we loosen the knob back here. And we can slide so we can cut larger materials like two by sixes, two by eights, maybe two by tens, I'm not sure yet. Uh, squeeze the trigger, we've got a light which lights up our work right here. If we wanna adjust our dimensions, we can adjust our angles just like that. It will lock into place and or you have infinite adjustment, okay? Infinitely adjustable, very, very cool. Okay, so we'll lock it down into place right here. Now, if we need to bevel or cut at an angle, we loosen the knob on the back side right here and we can rotate our saw head around, just like so. Very cool, awesome. Okay, snug everything back up and let's get to our table saw. Folding table saw stand. This looks super simple, guys. 
going to have a little bit of assembly here. So I got it all assembled, guys. It's pretty simple. One, 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 one. They're labeled one and one. This is three and three, and that's two and two. This one has an adjustable foot on it, just like the other one. I'm sitting on the table, so it's going to be a little bit out of, of uh, shape, misshapen. And then we have nuts and uh, very simple assembly process. Cool. Now we're ready to put our table saw in place. Now you're looking at this and you see it on a table and you're thinking, you know what? How is this gonna work? Well, typically when you're running a table saw, you want it kind of low to the ground. You're gonna be cutting big old sheets of plywood. So this is set down a little bit lower to the ground and there's actually a swivel point in here. We need to snug those down too. Totally forgot about that. Okay, just like that. Now, we're ready to put it up. Simply fold it up, throw in the back of the truck. Unfold it and set up your saw. We're gonna set this to the side, unbox our saw, and set it on here. Yeah, baby. Okay, go ahead and get this critter opened up. I'll also post a link to this El Cheapo table that I'm working off of. Guys, these tables are indispensable. I think I have about 20 of them on the farm. Anytime I need a workspace, I can just grab this, throw it in the back of the side-by-side -side, and roll with it. Super easy. Got battery, instructions, same stuff virtually as the other. Do we have a quick charge? Bam, rapid charge, yes. So we've got a rapid charge set up. Bam, oh, she's so pretty. I like that. So we got our stand assembled, we've got our saw assembled. This took some head scratching. I'm gonna show you guys some of the cool features of the saw real quick. But first, we've gotta know which way it goes on the stand. There is a little, clip right here, a clamp right here that swings up and catches the saw. So we'll raise the saw up, we'll put it into the stand, just like so. This guy comes up, catches the saw like that, and clamps it down. Now, the saw is firmly mounted on its stand. Let's show you some of the features of this saw and we'll set it down on the table and show you the working height. It's going to be about right here, about waist level where you want to push those long boards and where you want to push that plywood through there. So let's show you some of the features real quick. We'll go ahead and install our battery and any M18 battery will work. Again, this is the M18 Milwaukee Fuel Brushless table saw, eight and a quarter inch, 210 millimeter. Your own off switch is right here, okay? So, safety, safety, safety. We will go ahead, let's just turn it on. And that's your off switch, stops really quickly. This is your adjustment for the height of your blade. Crank it up, crank it down. This releases and changes the angle of the cut of your blade. Now, when we've got this guard on here, it may not change the angle so good, the guard will stay up or stay down, so you don't hurt yourself up like that and then there's an anti-kickback catch right here on the back which is super handy so if we want to adjust the angle of our blade we simply adjust it just like so okay very very simple right there you can see what angle you're going at we're going to leave it at zero because that's most likely where we're going to use it most of the time and we'll put our guard back down we've got measurements right here so this is your fence this is your fence lock unlock the fence and we can adjust it right there. You can get your measurements, read it, lock it back into place, very cool. On the back side of your fence, you got your push bar, very cool, always there with you, always use that critter. Walking on around right here, you can see the gear for the fence, how it moves back and forth. Then we've got a couple tools that we can mount up here, so if we wanna take our guard off, we can put that guy on, it mounts under there, and then there's another tool that mounts under here, and they simply mount up with a little swivel under there. Very innovative, I really like that. This is your miter gauge, and it stores underneath, so if you wanna use a miter gauge, you take that guy, drop him in place, and you got your miter gauge, okay? Very cool, when you're not using it, simply stick it up under here. Milwaukee was really thinking about tool storage here. Stick it under there, snaps into place very firmly. Very, very nice. Awesome, guys. We're gonna move this. We're gonna take the battery out before we move it, just in case you don't wanna make a boo-boo and lose a finger or a face. Okay, set this guy down. Very nice. That's a one-man hander right there. 
Slide this critter in. And now we're ready to work. Awesome. Guys, that is Tool Tuesday for today. So I hope you really enjoyed yourself, showed you some pretty cool tools. This is a table saw, this is the miter saw, this is all Milwaukee Fuel M18 gear. Again, guys, I'm a Milwaukee toolophile. I love my Milwaukee tools. They make everything. Guys, we'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. Please hit that like button, consider subscribing to the channel. This is Tool Tuesday, where we feature a cool tool that we're gonna use here on the farm. Now, we have portable saws that we can take anywhere on the farm in case we got fencing jobs, construction jobs, building cabins, and all sorts of stuff. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge. Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. So we've got cool... <laughs> Get it together, Sonny. Get it together, Jenny. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Can't see you, Josh. You're hiding behind it. Full of tools somewhere. A bucket full of monkey tools. Where are you? Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, drop it. Uh, drop everything. After we find all the knobs we lost, the knobs we lost, where did you go? So I assembled it. I went on. And your hat's not pretty. The shadow. <laughs> Just want to let you know, Taco Tuesday is almost celebrated as much as Tool Tuesday on the Stony Ridge Farm. Is it worth it? Let me torque it. I put my thing down, flip it in reverse. Yeah. Rapid charge. Love that. You love it, won't you marry it? I'm like a Pee Wee Herman reference, is it, guys? And a screw. I found me a screw.